One call, could've solved it all Two cares, could've kept me living Three times, you done portrayed me Now I'm stuck in this lonely kitchen Yeah, I smile in public But in private, I be tripping It's crazy how you gotta be gone To show your presence, it's so gifted I wanna end it, talking about life And you claim that you love me, but never in sight People show love at your funeral and not where you moving So why should I ever be nice? Heavy on Instagram saying I'm bored right now When I really need helpful advice I'm drinking this liquor while loading these bullets And I feel like this is the only way right I'd rather be in hell than be in a place like this Where the devil keep winning my fight I look to the sky and say God I'm sorry but I really can't finish my fight God why you make people so evil And why did the next man got more in this pot I bet when I pull this trigger then I go figure The true me that I have Hey, yo, man, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Reggie Rounds, a.k.a. Mr. Rounds, baby! And you are now tuned in to the Reggie Rounds Show. Ooh! Hey, yo, man, listen, I got a special guest today. You know what I mean? He's going to get, listen, trust me when I say it's a special guest. Introduce yourself, my brother. Hey, this is Jersey the Rapper, a.k.a. Mr. Guava Man, a.k.a. Mr. Postman. You know how it go. Ooh! Yeah, you already know, man, Jersey, Jersey the Rapper, you already feel what I'm saying, man. <laughs> how, you, how was your week, man? Amazing. Hey, up north treating me real great. Treating me and my girl great. Everything just great up here. Man. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. No, no, man. Let's do it like this, man. For everybody that don't know who you are, you know, tell me who you are, baby. I'm just the biggest message man around the world. And I'm playing. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like, no, like, I'm Jersey the rapper, basically. I just kill everything, rap, anything. Okay, so that's the Jersey mentality. Jersey the rap, you, you know what I'm That's how I go. That's our Jersey yeah. mentality, you feel me? No matter but, where we go, we just kill anything. Yeah, also, I'm a, a mental health activist. Uh, uh, what I could say a bunch of stuff. I'm a mental health activist. I'm a gang violence activist. I'm a bunch of different type of activists because I speak on some of these things. So I, I claim myself as an activist because that's what people can know about me. Like. Okay, I'll, I'll put about. messages behind the music too. Okay, there we go, man. That's all I like to hear, man. Especially mm -hmm. you know, us young black men right, out right. here doing positive things for our community and shit. So you all, I already know, you know, I feel right, that. Right, right. You know what I mean, so, but tell everybody where you from, man. Oh, I'm originally from Irvington, New Jersey. North okay. New Jersey, Irvington. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, zero seven one eleven. You yeah. already know. Oh, day. <laughs> Also, I claim 910, I mean 26 and, you know what I mean, Fayetteville, you know what I mean, okay, North Carolina. Oh, wow, that's so they, crazy. My mom just moved to Fayetteville. Oh, hey, show her love. Oh, love day, show, show her love. love. Mom, you already know. She, uh, listens to the, she listens to the podcast, too. Oh, what's up, mom? Now, I mean, so, I mean, where did the name Jersey the Rapper come from? It was funny. I just was talking to somebody about that. Really, I was talking about talking this to uh, my cousin girlfriend. She asked me, and it was crazy. It actually came back from my homeboy. His name Bacon. Mm -hmm. My homeboy DJ Bacon. He out in uh, Texas. Okay. He came up to me. He was country as ever. Like he was like the countryest man in the world. Like you would never. Like he talked like he straight out of uh, Texas. Word. He was like, yo, yo, man, hey, uh, hey, I call you Jersey, bro. Just, just name yourself Jersey, bro. And I was like, I, right. I named myself Jersey, but on Facebook you got to put a last name. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. In the middle, I put the, but then I just put rap. And then he was like, bro, you might as well just go ahead and put rapper at the end. Okay. And just, just sum it all up and stuff okay. like that. I put it up there. Everybody just started going crazy over it. I was like, what? And just because I changed my name? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. But, you know, by you saying you put Jersey the Rapper, Jersey the Rapper, that brings up to my next question. Like, what made you start rapping? Um, really whack rappers. Like, it's, uh, honestly, <laughs> like, it, it's crazy. Like, it, it's like my homeboy. Like, he not my homeboy no more, but... He came up to me in gym class and he was like, "Look, I got a studio at the house." It was like a little hole in the wall studio. He was like, hey "Man, you gotta start somewhere." Exactly, and he was like, "Come to my house." And I was like, "I show you, I show you how to uh how to do this, this, and this." And I was like, "Man, I ain't going over there, man. <laughs> like I don't want to go there." And then he asked me the third time. I was like, "All right, bro, I'm coming over here because I ain't had nothing to do." I was like, "I'm coming over there." Third time's a charm. Yeah, so I went over there. And he had this song, it was so trash, like, it was so trash, it was, it was like, so trash, like, I'm talking about trash, like, it was, like, garbage. So then I'm like, I'm like, all right, he wanted me to get on it. So then, when I went on it, I just put a little something together, he was like, oh, I like that, bro, and I liked it, too. Okay. But then I was like, yeah, this is hard, bro, this is actually hard, so I was like, I just start going home every day, studying rappers and just writing. Okay, just okay, there we go, so he, he, so would you say you, I mean, owe him your credit? To start rapping? I always do. Yup, Javante, I give it to you, bro, even though I don't like you. But I give, I, <laughs> I give you. But that's respect. I give you credit. You know I mean? He got me into rapping. I was just about to say, you know what I mean? But that, you know what I mean? let's go into like a, a lower, like serious question. Like, who do you look up to? My future self and uh, J. Cole. 
Okay. Sure. Okay. Why is that? Why J. Cole? Cole, he like this under like he basically Tim Duncan of the rap game. Like, mm. Okay. I'm saying like okay. he, he not even Tim Duncan. He like AI of the rap game too, cause he ain't getting no rings, nothing like that. But he's he's surprisingly surpassing people. Like you know what I'm saying like on the low though. Like on no, the low. I don't say on the low. That people just don't give him his credit. That's on the mean. low. That's yeah. a, I'm yeah. telling like okay, check this out. Like look, you can look at stuff like this. Like Cole will drop, he'll drop uh for your eyes only. Mm -hmm. The hardest thing ever. Kod, no Grammy nomination. No nothing. Nothing. Like he gets nothing. Like I'm like, look, Cole, bro. Like you gets nothing. Like and I'm like, come on, bro. Like drop a whack album, somebody else. Number one Grammy nomination. Win the Grammy. Uh, uh, uh. I'm like, yo, you know why? Because it's the era where. When why? I think about it. He's, he's 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 rapping real shit. A lot. Mm -hmm. This era we're in right now is only a boy about like beats. It's and catch, catchy tunes word. and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So when you when J. Cole drops something like that that's kicking knowledge, that's actually word, like word. inspiring people, word. people don't wanna hear that. Nah, it's just sad. They never people do. don't wanna hear it though. Yeah, and that's the craziest thing, but then soon as like I say like a wave of what like what Kendrick Lamar did, like the uh whole power thing, like when he uh started dissing everybody, now nah, everybody wanna rap real. Let it let it let a real song go number one, everybody wanna be a lyrical you know, demon about or facades, something. Man. Everybody's yeah. all about the now. So okay, right. that's what he doing, and everybody else jumping on it, let me try to jump on it so so they keep the in the flame. You already know. Like Eminem, when Eminem come out dissing everybody, boom, everybody else coming out dissing everybody, they going crazy. I'm like, what? You already know how it is, man. That, that, this, this rap industry is kind of tricky sometimes, to be honest with you. It's like, yeah. it's, it kind of changes people. Sometimes it does a force lot. you to evolve into the industry of what you're doing a because lot. you don't want to be stuck in the in the past or stuck stagnant in, right, in the part where right. you're not even evolving because at right, the end of right. the day, you do got to go with the, you got to roll with the punches. And that's the craziest thing. I had to uh, do that same thing to myself. Like, I, I always call my cousin Drop. Like, I call him all the time and I'll be like, look, this ain't working, this ain't working, this ain't working, this ain't working. He'll look at me with a tough face, be like, yo, figure it out. Like, I'm like, what? And that's, and that's what, what you're talking about? about. And when I figure it out, I gotta revolutionize myself, like, what's going on now? Catch the trend, but be the trend. Mm -hmm. It's like a exactly. different way. And I'm like, and then at the same time, sometimes you might have to be a person to start a new trend. You see what I'm saying? That too. Exactly. But you know what's crazy? You gotta have at least like 10% of what's going on now. And, you know, and it's like, it's weird now, because back in the 90s and stuff like that, I noticed you didn't have to. Nah. But the internet, now you got to. It's, it's a lot of more social media. Like this social media should evolve the rap game, because a lot of people had to do a lot of groundwork where you wouldn't really know about a person. Now Boy. social media, Boy. if you get the right person or the right push, just like that, bro. That's what I'm saying. You gone. I mean, so I mean, what is something about you that will surprise most people? Um, who? That you go hoop. Like, uh, <laughs> they really hoop, though. You know, everybody ball is life, but they ain't really no ball. Yeah, I'm out here. I mean, I'm out here. I mean, even if you play for a D1 school and cross you up. But nah, well, most people probably don't understand. Like, with me, like, I basically do a lot of different things. Like, I say, like, I read a lot. Like, okay. most people won't understand. Like, I read a lot. Like, I listen to podcasts a lot. I got a subscription on Audible. Like, I love reading. Like, okay. And, like, I go in depth. Like, I see an article about somebody, like, so on the paper. You ask my girl anything, like, I'm listening to that interview all the time. I don't listen to music. I listen to interviews. Okay. I listen to podcasts. I listen to anything, you know what I mean? Like, it's not where I just go ahead and, like, I don't listen to songs and stuff like that. But I use self-meditation and stuff like that. And plus, self-meditation. That Man, listen, you do got to make sure you... Stay in a safe spot, especially right. mentally, with all these issues here. Because a lot of mental health is a real problem. Yes, and a lot of people don't really pretty much acknowledge it, or what, or they they know it, but they try mm -hmm. to like bury it, which is not healthy for nobody. Though. Yeah, and I think in our community, black community, we don't take it serious. Like they, this is where I feel like people will say like, yeah, he going crazy. Yeah, you you go up to if I go up to my cousin, I go to somebody be like, yo, I'm not feeling right, like. Like I'm just I'm going crazy like I'm stressed out. No, 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 no. I did tell you to pray. And, and and I was just about to say, see, that's crazy. You took the words right out of my mouth, like, cause that's that's it is is a common common saying for black people. Oh, right. just pray on it. Right. No. Go exactly. get some help. Yes, exactly. And that's then, what it is. And then once they get thrown in jail, go kill somebody, do something crazy. Then they want to say, oh yeah, they are crazy. Yeah, we should have got some help. Uh, and, they, and that's my biggest song. One Call is my biggest song. Okay. The One Call is about, I say, I put myself in a character where nobody calls him, everybody's on social media, but don't even give him the time of day, stuff like that. And then he off himself because he didn't get that one call. And you know what's crazy, though? I feel like, as you, just as human beings, 
like you just need to reach out right, to right, people, right. just check on people, because you never know what somebody's actually going through. Mm-hmm. People will sit up here and smile in your face, but could be going through a lot, could be going through mm-hmm. depression. I mean, could be going through having suicidal thoughts. So sometimes right, right. you just gotta check on your friends. Even though mm-hmm. you know what I mean, sometimes, if you, like I said, just check on them just to see how they're doing. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't talk to them as much, just like shoot them a text, man. Hey, I just seen that. Yo, what's going on? You good? Right, right, you right, good? right, right. All right, right, that's it. Keep it moving. But and that can mean a lot to people. You see exactly. What I'm so that's that's why I say yo, especially with this mental health. Not like it, it's right. we're bringing more awareness to it. But mm-hmm. I just feel like we should just yo therapy. I just feel like I think that's something that everybody should do. Yeah, and it's not you. Therapy could be with anybody. It exactly. could be with like your homie. It could be with your mom. It could be anybody. Therapy. So it, your people just didn't listen. Bro. Yeah, they take it to the extinct. Like you don't gotta get no medication. You know, come on, just talk to the person and help them work it out so they won't do nothing crazy. Like I got a friend here in the military. He called me while he in Afghanistan in Jordan because mm-hmm. he it's too hot there. The fan ain't working. They treat him like you know. Yeah. And he like yo, I I need to talk. He like this helped me, bro. Like we. And that's all. Yeah. That's all it takes sometimes, just to right. reach out to somebody and just have it, like right, right. and listening here. That's all it is, you know. And I, and I just feel like that that could go a long way for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. I mean, but I mean, let's go back to this music. You feel me? Because you know, what I mean, I like the, I like that you up here and I like the vibe and everything Word. else. So I mean, how would you describe your music in a few words? Versatile. Versatile. That's it. So let me ask you a question. I mean, you already know. You said that you know you you was down in North Carolina. You know, up here in Jersey, you got a lot of mixtures of everything. Exactly. You got a lot. You got you got people that's doing this this, this Jersey club music that's taking off. Right. You got people that's spitting bars. You know what I'm saying? So, what would you tell the people that's listening or your fans? Why listen to Jersey to rap? I tell them don't listen. Mm-hmm. Then come, that don't listen. That's the I, I tell any don't listen to my music. I mean, listen to me as a person first. Mm, okay. Then so, have fun listening to me. So get to know you as an individual before you get, let me get to know not even music. that. It's like kind of where I say like. Where everybody, if I feel like now everybody's the same. I mean, everybody's different. Mm-hmm. Everybody's different. I'm the same. I'm not different. I'm the same from everybody. Cause being different now is the same. Okay, I see I'm, what you mean. I'm okay. same now. So when anybody come up and say what makes you different, I'm not. I'm the same. I'm just the basic rapper. Just the basic rapper. Just so basic how rapper. How translate that to people that want to listen? Because what if somebody take that the wrong way? Hey, take it the wrong, take the wrong way. Like, right, if I, somebody say that, what I would say here is, I say that I'm the most coldest, I'm the most illest, I'm the best rapper in the freaking world. Nobody could ever take me bar for bar, mumble rap for mumble rap, sing it, auto tour, anything you want to, because I'm Jersey the rapper. That's it. And I'm Spider Man and Venom at the same time. Yeah, good guy, bad guy, baby. Anytime you want it. Like I anybody name any beat anywhere, Jay Z could get it. Okay. I mean anybody could get it, but I love Jay Z, anybody. But like you don't second guess yourself. Even Jay Z said as, that. As you should as you, as you should. You said exactly. like you never second guess yourself. Yeah. But it's like I know where to stay humble that and then like anybody come up to me and say that, I, cause I notice what a lot of people do is they say they come and tell you, like when you ask me what makes me different, they'll be like Oh yeah, bro. I'm uh, I'm this, I'm that. Yeah, like I do this. Yeah, word, word, word. I do this, this, this. Nah, I'm the same. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm the basic rapper package until they hear me. And then why I'm saying this right now is like that's a different strategy of marketing too. But okay. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, listen, man. I like that. I mean, yeah. Thinking outside of the box. I like that. So I mean, what are your career aspirations? Oh, so basically, I want to win a Grammy. Mm. I want to. Uh, oh, once I win a Grammy, I probably be out. Nah, see, you and, think like and that, I, that's, I'm thinking like that because like, that. like I, I'm a win a, I want to win a Grammy, maybe a BET award for my mama, and uh, <laughs> hey man, I'm uh, it though. Then I'm going to real estate crazy. Okay. Then uh, I'm going real estate, buying boats, buying a whole bunch of stuff, using a bunch of assets, buying a bunch of property, giving back, building some equity. That's exactly. What you're about. That's okay. all I want. I like that. I like that. I like that. So, okay. I mean. I think everybody should have some aspirations outside of music because you never know what can happen. You know what I'm saying? So by you even saying this, it's just like letting me know that your mind frame and your train of thought is a lot different. And then I feel like everybody should pretty much. Exactly. And it's about the people you surround yourself with. Like, because Drop wouldn't let me say no weird stuff about, like, (laughs) what I say. But yo, I feel like this. You are only as good as the people that you surround yourself with. Exactly. If you have a team that's not going to let you be on some bullshit, that's also going to keep you grounded and keep you always motivated Mm -hmm. and always keep pushing you to to the potential that they see. Right. I think the sky is the limit, to be honest with mm-hmm. you. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is this, like, do you want to stay independent? I don't feel like saying this, but, like, I got a couple label talks, but I hate saying that. Like, I don't, why, why do you hate it, though? 
because like I mean it, a label could take you so far I mean it depends like you see how I mean you see how a whole team could take you somewhere and you see how most of these people be on Instagram crying about their deals and stuff like that yeah um, no, no I get it but, but once again that's that's when your like, team comes to play but I feel like I'm gonna stay independent I might get a partnership mm -hmm. on my stuff like that but like right now I see my I see how the streaming going and different things going and how and how like most of the stuff blowing right now as independent, and I feel like if I get my stature to a higher point, then what's the label? Okay. But no, I will work with a label, okay. but it depends. The situation got to be right. The, uh, I was just admit, contracts. That's where people fuck up at. <sighs> people don't look at their contracts. They don't look at the deals, especially if you're going to go to any type of label or anything. Make sure you have a lawyer present to look over exactly. the paperwork. Say it one more time. You have to Say have it one a more lawyer time. present. To look at the paperwork, cause you've seen all these people that's getting screwed. Right. Like, like what? What's the uh, <laughs> new edition and all that was getting uh, screwed? You know what I'm saying? If they, if they were not gonna say smart enough, cause at the end of the day, back then they was ripping them off. They was just ripping them off, but they was trying to get that money. They wasn't really thinking about it. Like, that's why I can get this. But now, this new day and age, bruh, get a lawyer. Right. Make them look at the contract that they build up. So you could go ahead and make sure that you're not getting screwed at the end. True. And that's what I think everybody should do. Now, I mean. Another thing, too, because you said that, I mean, you don't want to really work with a label once they're independent, but do you think by you being independent, would you, would that push your, your songs to be, I mean, top 100 charts? Or do you think by you having a label behind you can make that go quicker? I just feel like it work both ways. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, it, it depends on how you market yourself. I mean, you got to not care. I mean, like, you got to not care. Like, I mean... I know I can get myself number one. Like, you got to know that. Like, mm -hmm. and, and you I believe it. Yes, and like... When last year I was uh, hard, we was at a uh, thousand views, uh, a month, mm -hmm. no. a thousand moves a month. Yeah, thousand. We do a thousand views a day. Thousand views a day. That's do, what I'm talking. Do a thousand about. views a day. Fifty k a month. Fifty k a month. <laughs> but that, we don't. We you got to get yourself to the top before <laughs> even the label. It like cause. I saw this post one day. I was like, uh, and I was just, I was in disbelief. I always get into like a, uh, like everybody get into like that phase, like where they start doubting their stuff. And of stuff course. Like that. Of and course. then I saw this post. I was like, don't care about nothing on the internet because it's gonna disappear anyway. Like when you refresh it. And I was like, yeah, that is true. And then, <laughs> and well, to be honest with you, you're, you're, this is what I, I see the sign on the post where people are interview fifty people, fifty percent right, of the people right, that right. watch is just gonna be watching. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know what I'm saying thirty percent yeah. gonna hate. 20% is going to support. So at mm. the end of the day, you got to be around the people that you know that's going to push you, that's going to make you True. work hard at the end of the day. Because if you're up here sitting and listening to what other people think, mm -hmm. then you, I mean, where, you, where are you going to be at? You know what I'm saying? Because you know how many times I've heard people tell me that I'm not going to be doing this and all oh, right, I don't think you got it and everything else. If mm. I don't listen to that, I wouldn't be doing the thing that I love. Exactly. I love this shit. And you're you know killing me? it right that's now. I love it. So if you really love something, Word. you got to go with it. Be. Sometimes you may lose friends. Sometimes mm -hmm. you may lose close ones at the end of the day, but if that's if they wasn't meant for you to be on the journey that you right. gotta be going on, right. Right. don't take it no way. Just know like at this time of my journey, at this time of my spot, you wasn't you wasn't supposed to be there. Well she want me in the gym. But if it full circle, if you come back, it is what it is. But exactly. if it's not, I mean, no hard feelings, but at the end of the day, you gotta think of self. And that's the, another problem where people think they always care about everybody else. Think about yeah. yourself first, Plus, man. Self don't matter, age don't matter, none of that stuff matter. Because people I know, like a bunch of people I know, they see Lil Pump, he's 17. You see a bunch of these other rappers, they pop in, stuff like that. And he's like 20, he's like, man, bro, I, I can't do this no more, I'm getting too old. Nah. I'm like, bro, nah. do you know Rich Man in the World, Jeff Benzo? He started, he was flipping burgers at 26 and started Amazon at 28. Of course. And like, that's so, what I'm talking about. You know, but you ask, you know that, you know that also means too, he believed in himself. Exactly. And he, and he thought about something and he grinded. You got to put in the footwork Word. in order to get where you want it. And, and you know what, this is the thing that my girl always tell me too. Mm -hmm. And I sometimes I fall into it too. You have to enjoy the process. Always. Have to enjoy the process because if you don't enjoy the process, yeah, yeah, nothing's gonna happen overnight. It's no, not. It never I mean, does. No matter how it is, and if it does, you really gotta look at it twice because you never know. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like enjoy the process because the process is where you're gonna have the most fun. Exactly. It's where you're gonna have the most fun, and that's what I love about it. Because my man, one of my man's first is my man Fred Joe. Mm -hmm. He he quit his job. He had a dream. He had a vision. He Word. quit his job, Word. and he started his own video production company. Mm. He started off just very, really like. Recording little minor things, us playing FIFA on, 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 on the couch, you know what I'm saying? Little parties here and there. Now my man is getting, he was just in, 
with Jordan Lucas. That's and what I out, out in out in London. And that's my top five. Right you know here. what I'm saying? <laughs> that's out, dope. In, out in London, it, being his videographer. You see what I'm saying? So, that's lit. but he took his time. He, he studied it. He studied the craft. He bettered mm -hmm. his craft. You see what I'm saying? Right. And that's what I feel like with anybody. Mm -hmm. Podcast, rapping, anything you do, mm -hmm. you gotta enjoy the process. Trust the if process. Not, if, if not, it's like. What's the point? That's, yeah, because you know I mean? everybody always be looking for a quick, you know what I mean? Quick, quick skills. Exactly. Like, let me get this quick. You know what I mean? like, nah, that that should be asked. That's why you like what? What's that dude name that came out all gold on my chest? Where he at now? You see what I'm saying? That, 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 but that's just me. That's how I look at it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Where he at? Tr Trinidad, whatever his name was. Yeah, Trinidad, Trinidad James. James. You know what I'm saying? But that's how I look at it. You see me? But all on the topic of talking about the industry and anything like, who would you want to work with in the industry? Everybody, mm. really. but my the person I really want to work with, Kid Cuddy. Okay. Jay, I don't want to work with J Cole until I'm like, I until I'm ready. It's like I don't want to meet my idol yet. That's okay. That's, that's, a, that's a different type of okay. Yeah, like because okay. I feel like I'm gonna talk too much and like. <laughs> hey man, that, but hey, it it is what it is. Yeah, but the main people I want to work with, I say Kid Cuddy, mm -hmm. Beyonce, Adele. Drake, okay, you see, gotta I get, like that. You, you gotta get real versatile with your with, with the people you name. Exactly, okay. Drake. I want to work with uh, Kanye. I want to work with uh, Ed Sheeran, of course. Um, I'm talking about people with these billions. I want no, billion, yeah, billion gotta, views. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> surround yourself. With but them, I actually right? you like them. I actually like their music. But okay. I, I want I want all of them. Uh, some some versatile stuff. I want NBA Young Boy. NBA Young Boy. I want every, every oh, wild boy though. <laughs> yeah, you want to know it's crazy. If I if I actually ever met NBA Young Boy, I do like a a different song with him. Like I wouldn't want to do no like killing and all the uh, like. Okay. I do something funny. Yeah. <laughs> so now now how about this? That's the industry. Who would you want to work with in Jersey? Um, cause you got you got some, you got some hitters out there. You got Louis J. You got my man ADG, exactly. Surf. Exactly. I want to work. I want to work with all everybody from Jersey. I don't care where you're from. Everybody. I'm talking about um, what's his name, Louis J. Of course, my cut drop. Drop. Oh, nah, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Drop. Uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? What's the name of that dude? Uh, what's his name? Fuck that. All of them. I want to work with anybody. I, I, Cause I see, if I see you grinding, I'm coming. I'm. What's up? What's, it, what's What's going on? We can do this. Let's make a song or something. I work with anybody. Okay. I I don't really like charging for features. I tell people, look. Uh, pay for the studio time. I'm coming. There we go. <laughs> that's it. So who would you say is your top five rappers of all time? Ooh, there we go. Like, yeah, there we go. Let's 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 get let's let's dive in it. You said five top five <laughs> of all time. Not right now. Of all time. Damn. Um, me, but I'm not gonna put myself in there. Uh, <laughs> you know what? When I ask that question to a lot of rappers, they never mention themselves. Hey, and you're the first person exactly. that said me. I fuck with that. I yeah. like that. That's what I'm saying. That's why <laughs> the dif the difference of what I'm what I'm speaking to you right now. Word, I see it because you you should have said me. Exactly because it's me, of course. But like, uh, it's me. But I ain't gonna put in myself in the top five. Of course, it's Cole. That's number one. Number one, Cole. Okay. Great Cole World. Uh, uh, number two, Nas. Okay. Um. Joiner. Mm. Uh, that's different. Uh, I don't hear a lot of people. That's different. Man, you can tell by my videos, but I ain't gonna. <laughs> jo uh, Joiner. Uh, oh, this, this is tough. <laughs> and, and, and that's why I asked you, you know what I'm saying? So, you definitely. But, you know, okay, I'm gonna say this then. I got uh, Cole, Nas, Joiner, uh, Drake, Kendrick. Mm. And I got a legendary top five. Okay, cause what's I don't your, like put I don't what, like put, what's your legendary top? Five? Cause like if I put somebody like I can't put Jay Z in a conversation with Drake like I can't put well, them Cause I mean I could put Drake in that because both of them are still relevant. So but I killed you. I'm saying Jay Z, but Jay Z not on that type of relevant. Jay Z on that what? Yeah, he, is, <laughs> so, he, is, he, is, he moves different. So I, I'm gonna have to say Pop number one, Jay Z okay, Biggie okay, KRS KRS okay, and uh. It's gonna be a tough one, uh, cause I I already said this, but oh I put Nas inside the uh, legendary uh, as well. Yeah, okay. But not Nas, Nas just that guy. Like <laughs> I gotta put Nas in everyone, but I had to say Biggie. We already said Biggie though. I didn't I didn't say Biggie. I said Pac, 
Said, uh, you said Biggie number three. Oh, I said Biggie? Yeah, that's what oh, I'm saying. Oh, okay, well, yeah, because I love Ten Crack Commandments. So we're going to go with Pot, Biggie, J, um, KRS One, and, and uh, I would not nah, put Nas in the other one. So I'm going to have to go with Kiss. Kiss. Where? You think Kiss better than Fab? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> you think Kiss better than Fab? I ain't going to lie, though. Freddie versus Jason, I was waiting on that since I was in middle school. Mm. And we got beef, Kiss. If you ever see this, we got beef. Because I was the main one. Like, yo, Freddie Ray Jackson dropped next week. Never came. <laughs> I, I get it. All right, so now, what can we look forward to hearing and seeing from you in the future? Oh, definitely. Uh, more minutes. Um, more different videos. Uh, a bunch of different features. Because I people think I don't do features, but I'm going to do a bunch of different features. A bunch of more crazy videos. And a lot more in store. But, uh... In the sooner future, we're gonna drop minute six, probably okay. in the, like next month. Okay. But uh probably not around this month, beginning of the next month. Minute six and uh another series, but y'all gonna get longer songs, I promise. I okay. promise y'all gonna get longer songs. I got a bunch of longer songs in the hard drive that y'all need. Mm. And that's it, yeah, that's what everybody waiting on. Okay. So do you have any albums out? No. No work nobody in workout right now. No. Just, just just some music. So where would if I wanted to listen to your music, where would I find it? Apple, Spotify, Dreezer, everywhere, okay. iTunes, uh, even if you got Amazon Music, <laughs> it's up there SoundCloud. too. SoundCloud. Well, no, we don't do SoundCloud. We don't do SoundCloud. Okay. We don't do SoundCloud. Why is that? We get paid for our money. We get paid for our work mm -hmm. around here. <laughs> okay. okay. But you get paid off SoundCloud too. I, I ain't going to lie. I got SoundCloud too. You go listen to some of my older songs up there. And I'm going to actually put something on SoundCloud soon because I can't put... My first minute on on a uh, pla play like on different platforms because that's Jordan Lucas beat and I remixed okay. his beat for the first minute I ever mm -hmm. did. Okay. So I'm gonna put down SoundCloud for people who want to stream it because a lot of people keep asking me to stream that. So I got them because okay. that's the only thing we are gonna put on SoundCloud. But any other place we got title we got everywhere. So you put that oh, okay. anywhere. So you're on all the major platforms. Major platforms. That's, that's what I'm talking about. about. But Spotify loved me a little bit more. So oh, <laughs> <you're talking about laughs> yeah, Spotify. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now, where like for everybody else that don't know who you are, like as far as like, mm -hmm. can they see you on YouTube? Yeah, you can see see me on YouTube, Instagram, Jersey the Rapper. Uh, so that's, that's your name on bo on, on both yeah, everywhere. Jersey the Rapper, like T H A, like like how Pac had the A in the middle, like so. Jersey the Rapper, so T H A. Don't put T H E, but I still might pop up. You still might pop up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, now um, my, my, now this question. For a person that likes to listen to music, Where? I mean, I think you, you touched on it earlier, but I didn't really get the actual question. Like, okay, since you said I have a lot of different things going on besides rapping, like, what kind of message are you trying to put out in your music? To be aware, and to like have like, like self self integrity as well, and plus like, knowing when it's your time to do do different things and stuff like that. I I talk, I talk for a bunch of people who can't talk. Mm -hmm. I'm so you're the voice. I'm the voice. I, oh, the I, voiceless. Exactly. Okay. That's why I says like this: a person that's going through that suicide or that bullying, a person who's getting locked up, a person who's uh, bleeding on the floor because he made the wrong choices, a girl who's scared to come out about mm -hmm. her abusive boyfriend, uh, or uh, mm -hmm. a, a black man who's getting taken away from his household because of like a bunch of different things. But I'm a voice for the voiceless because they can't rap in that situation. Okay, okay, that's that. See, see, me listening to music, and also, I got a bunch of different stuff too. Like, I don't get trapped in the box. Like, I got a bunch of it could be, I got a hype song, I got songs for the hype, lyrical, I got anything you need. Like, this, you come to you're just touching everything. Yeah, like, you just come, now. exactly. You come anything you need. Mm -hmm. See, what see, when I listen to music, I like to listen, right? Right, to, to, to a message. What am I actually getting from this? You, you get what I'm saying? You're getting a thousand messages in one. Mm. It's like okay. a picture where anytime you get it, like you get a thousand messages in one. You watching a movie with my videos, you listening to a movie with my music, you anything, you just getting uh, the whole experience. I guarantee you, if you watch anything of mine, you will not take your eyes off of it. Mm. Okay. And you're gonna like it. Automatic. Automatic. Yeah, but that's what I'm the same. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. Now, you say you say you're from here, you in right, North Carolina, right, right. so that's you're pretty much out there majority of the time mm -hmm. pretty much right so now would you say you have any beef with any 
North Carolina rappers out there, or is you are you just like just regular? Because you because at the end of the day, let's be real. No matter where you're gonna be at, you're always gonna have somebody that's gonna hate on you. Yeah, you're that is right. Go shade that on is you. right. No matter, and it, that's I think that's another reason that's wrong with our, our society now, especially in Jersey. Certain people don't like the certain people don't like to help out each other, push somebody else. They always oh. want to be the first one to top. Where I, I heard that, down you south. said that you said that's Jersey. I heard that I heard down south is different though. Oh well, that's the same exact way. I was about to say because I heard down south they they down south rappers they push that number one guy. Then once that number one guy is there, then they put they put everybody else on. And I just feel like Jersey's have that type of mentality well mentality as well. But that's what I'm asking you. Right. That's I mean, only in Atlanta. It mm. don't happen in North Carolina. It, it's like it's crazy because like it only happens in Atlanta. Like it don't happen nowhere else. It only happens in Atlanta. Like. North Carolina, they do the same thing, but they're black men, and that's the mm. that's the crazy. Like okay. it's crazy. Like they'll work with you, just off the strength. Like because a person to do a song with you, knowing that you're gonna blow up and do something one day, and then promote that one song to help them. But they won't even like, like I say, like a bunch of people I know. Like once my things come out, like my minutes and stuff come out, they don't like posting it on their page and stuff like that. But I don't really care. But they don't like supporting me. But let it, let it, let somebody else come out that. They don't even know they they gonna support that, and it's it's real crazy. Don't you, don't you find that kind of funny though? Like I think that's what's just with anything, and this is what I be, I try to pre uh, preach is right, that right, right. I'm not gonna go underneath no celebrity page and start shouting them out. Yo, my homies is my celebrity. Right. You know what I mean, drop top. That's my celebrity. You know what I mean, he right, doing right, his right. thing. I'ma support him. Whatever he doing, that's what it is. My boyfriend Joe. That's what I'm. Louis J. Those are my celebrities. Exactly. Those are the niggas I'm gonna show support for. Fat boy just dropped the movie out there. That's how you supposed exactly. to support exactly. support the people that surround you. Cause at the end of the day, you want to need a, 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 a Gucci man or a, or a Chris Brown. These niggas don't see you. Exactly. You know how many people are trying to do the same thing you're doing? Exactly. And, and, and that's what I hate, man. It's like, yo, why don't we as a community support everybody else, people around us? I mean, because if, at the, how I look at it is like this. Mm -hmm. If my mans make it, because I'm grinding like him, we make Because exactly. they, they, we, we helping each other up. You exactly. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that, that's how I look at it. You feel mm -hmm. me? But the fact that everybody be doing this crab in the barrel mentality where you know what I mean they just gotta pull everybody down I think yeah. that's everybody what everybody the same up. Stuff. exactly that's what I feel like it's, it's, it's kind of like bullshit you see what I'm saying yeah I mean but I mean as we about to end this what is the positive message that you want to give everybody I want everybody to understand that you have a voice so I want everybody to like just empower yourself with a voice and also don't be scared to come out and ask for help or anything like that because that's what mainly what I preach. And also just be you, have fun, live life. Don't let nobody tell you you're too young for it, too old for it. Just go for it. Go for broke. Bet on yourself. Don't do nothing different. Keep the same way because if you try to focus on something that's different, like somebody else that's not working for you, you're bound to fail sometimes. Mm -hmm. But if you focus on your different path and the one that you know and you trust in in America, the marathon is for you and the way you keep going straight, you bound to finish in victory. Don't let nobody downplay your dreams or anything. So just keep doing what you're doing and go crazy. You know, you heard it from the, the one and only himself, Jersey the Rapper, baby. Woo. You already know. Baby!